the bus moves from rest with a uniform acceleration of 2 meters per second squared for the first 10 seconds. It then accelerates at a uniform rate of 1 meter per second squared for another 15 seconds. It continues at a constant speed for 70 seconds. And finally comes to rest in 20 seconds by uniform deceleration. Draw the velocity time graph of the motion using the information given above. From your graph or otherwise, calculate. 1. The total distance traveled. 2. The average speed for the whole journey. 3. Average retardation as the body is brought to rest. 4. The maximum speed attained during the motion. In stage 1 let's look at all the details available. The acceleration is equal to 2 meters per second squared. The time is equal to 10 seconds. The initial velocity is equal to 0. Notice that this final velocity attained was not given so we have to calculate the final velocity attained by the car in this stage using the formula V is equal to U plus 8 T. So V is equal to 0 plus 2 times 10 which is equal to 20 meters per second. Next draw a vertical line to represent the speed in meters per second. Also draw a horizontal line to meet the first line at the origin to represent the time t in seconds. Next draw the line OA to represent the car's acceleration from 0 to 20 meters per second in 10 seconds. The first stage of the journey is represented by triangle OAB. In stage 2 the car then accelerates at a uniform rate of 1 meter per second squared for another 15 seconds. Here the initial velocity is going to be the final velocity for the first stage that is 20 meters per second. Using the formula again V is equal to U plus AT. Then inputting these values into the equation we have V is equal to 20 plus 1 times 15 that equals 35 meters per second. Then draw a straight line AC to represent the acceleration of the car from 20 to 35 meters per second in 25 seconds. Trapezium ACDB represents the motion of the car in stage 2. In stage 3 the car continued at a constant speed, that is 35 meters per second for 70 seconds so. In this stage, the final velocity is equal to the initial velocity, which is constant. And that is equal to 35 meters per second. In time t equals 70 seconds. Here we are going to draw a straight line CE to represent the constant or uniform velocity or speed. We complete rectangle CEFD to represent the uniform motion of the car. In the fourth and final stage, the car was brought to rest in 20 seconds by uniform deceleration. So we are going to draw a straight line EG to represent the deceleration of the car from 35 meters per second to 0 meters per second in 20 seconds. The total distance traveled is equal to S1 plus S2 plus S3. S1 is equal to area of triangle AOB. S2 is equal to area of trapezium ACDB. S3 is equal to the area of trapezium CEGD. Note that the area of CEGD can be separated into a rectangle that is CEFD and triangle EFG. S1 is equal to area of triangle OAB which is equal to half OB times AB. And that is equal to half times 10 times 20 which is equal to 100 meters. S2 is equal to the area of trapezium ACDE which is equal to half into AB plus CD times BD. Which gives half into 20 plus 35 times 15. Which is equal to half times 55 times 15 and that equals 412.5 meters. S3 is equal to the area of trapezium CEGD, which is equal to half into CE, plus DG times CD. That is equal to half into 70 plus 90 times 35. 
which is equal to half times 160 times 35 and that's equal to 2,800 meters. Total distance is therefore equal to 100 plus 412.5 plus 2,800 which is equal to 3,312.5 meters. Average speed is equal to total distance traveled divided by total time taken. That is equal to 3,312.5 divided by 115, which is equal to 28.80 meters per second. Average retardation of the car is equal to the slope e.g. which is equal to e, f over f, g. which is 35 over 20. That leaves us with 1.75 meters per second squared. The maximum speed attained is equal to the greatest speed attained on the graph. So, the maximum speed is equal to 35 meters per second.